Attorney Benjamin Crump, my co counselors Attorney Natalie Jackson and Darrell Parks, and the parents of Trayvon Martin, Tracy and Sabrina. We received a lot of questions from many in the media about jury selection as well as some statements that were made yesterday, and we will attempt to address those concerns with uh, one statement and one comment from the parents of Tracy uh, and Sabrina. Today on the third day of jury selection, the family of Trayvon Martin is inspired by the honesty of the potential jurors. Their answers have been forthright and we have faith that the members of the public that are selected for the jury will perform their civic duty in a fair and impartial manner. Yesterday, former NYPD detective Harry Hawk commented to Fox News that Trayvon would be alive today if he didn't have a, quote, street attitude. This comment is reprehensible and extremely reminiscent of the victim blaming rhetoric we saw a year ago. We all know Trayvon Martin was unarmed. All he had was Skittles and a can of iced tea. George Zimmerman was an armed adult. He profiled and chased Trayvon Martin and shot him in the heart. We are calling for the media to refuse to perpetrate victim blaming and irresponsible characterization of an unarmed teenager. The evidence shows Trayvon Martin had no blood on his hands. Trayvon Martin is not on trial here. He is the victim. George Zimmerman, his killer, is the man who is on trial. And as his mother, Sabrina, has pointed out over and over again, he was a grown man. Trayvon Martin was her child. At this time, we will have them make uh, a brief statement. Good evening. Um, as we sit through uh, jury selection, we are encouraged that uh, the jurors that have been questioned, uh, we are encouraged that we as a family uh, can get justice for our son, Trayvon, and we ask that the uh, public continue to, to come forth and be honest as, as potential jurors. Thank you. Thank you. 